Hello there everyone and welcome to a new video. And today we're gonna do some small little babies and uh we think about we're just gonna do a little bit of an arrangement on the uh, arrangement here and do some sense. So I'm gonna show you guys uh today I finally got something different during the just runs. Um let's do the working one so the woodworker set there we go just do the dailies nothing much there's three holes until the reset oh we got two more there we go um let's do the weaving one oh what's this this is a tier four hmm let's on and just go really fast to is it faster i'm gonna recall to the halls and also show you guys uh, uh what i got from uh just today it's quite something and uh you know i talk about the odds about uh, uh how take offerings are pretty much the best while well, they do reward you with a lot of stuff so this is a polished marble chest i dropped i got this from the root the same old root that i do the trophies it has a one in nine thousand chance uh, chances to drop pretty much nine point no nine thousand and two hundred chances to drop so it's it, it's something okay to get it um i also finally got the uh, what do you call it the precision armoring tools oh, what am i missing h tanning all oh, right i don't have h tanning all right i forgot I, uh, all my h tanning is in uh Brimstone sands over here. So let's see. Ten. And it, it was a very, very long day. I, I tried. So there is a bow that you can get. Oh, I, I didn't get anything. Oh, some bones. Oh, that's, uh, that's lame. Uh, do do smelter, smelter set. So I've uh, tried farming the depth for materia, so I can craft a. Uh, I think it's a best in slot really for uh, invasions. Oh, that's bullshit again. Oh, I got double bullshit. Let's get the stock thing set. Just mumbling around with all the sets. And I also need. Let's see here. 10 of these bad boys. Putrid lodestones. Any special lodestones, really. Oh, and here's my uh, obsidian sample. Now that I have space, I decided to move nothing. Oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> I got three of them. Uh, of course, we don't have the four. Anyways, let's just dump this in. And I don't know if uh, a lot of you noticed this, but uh, there is something different with my character. And uh, um, let's see, where did I put my uh, stuff? Eastburn? No. Last end. No. Um, I already forgot where I put my staff. My, my stuff. No, not that was it. Didn't want to put them up here. Where did I put them? I didn't do first like uh, mountain home. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot. Enchanted. Let's destroy that. Oh right. I should do something about this but i don't think i have the other stuff prepared anyways let's do let's do something else um let me take my tanner set first off 
uh, right? And uh, I have here in Brimstone Sands. Let me check if the, the stuff in Brimstone Sands only the new. Okay, okay. So let's just to recall the house. And we'll do a little bit of upgrading on uh, tanning. Do I have the rock leather? Um, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I think I have something in Windsward. But I can't recall. Oh my god. <laughs> um, so... Uh, I don't have the stuff here. So let's equip the Tanner set. I wanted to do it... Um, so I have some iron hide and some thick hide and oh yeah i have okay that <laughs> that's a shrink um <laughs> first like where did i put mountain rice now morning day hey morning day yeah that's where i put my equipment just take my equipment and uh, let's do a little bit of a tanning session so 50 percent chance Without the fort, there we go, 266, let's do some infused leather, this should be 500, yes, and that's another, oh, that's almost another aptitude, oh, we can use these, oh, well, let me spam those, um, I think I have a lot more of those in reef water, right? Oh yeah, I have 700 of those. I also have a lot of these bad boys. Ah, that's for... Give me that red leather, that's thick fur, that's all fur. Um, yeah, let's go over to load that, actually. Because I don't really care about it. <laughs> I don't know what you use that for. Honestly speaking, um, 47, and does it increase, that's 23% chance, 23%, so it doesn't really matter. So I can make 127, and I'm limited by the layered leather, act actually no, it's probably the chitin parts. And I didn't get too much bonus there. Yeah, and there we go. We just convert a lot more of our resources to. Um, let me get a infused leather back and put that in Windsward. I keep all of my goodies 2.5k. We're gonna crack that to like 10k and then to a batch. Um, maybe not 10k, <laughs> it doesn't fit in Windsward. <laughs> Anyways, let's do a bunch of crates here. Um, this will definitely take a while just by just taking them out of <laughs> the inventory. I also have some fishing treasure chests. Alright. Oh, this, this does take a while. I saved them all for this episode. Um, yeah, when I don't have anything to show up, then just do dailies and uh, open up some crates pretty much. I have like 20 of them here. Um, Alright, let me show you guys something uh, different. So, do you know how I have my void vent, right? And. Uh, and now I look green. Well, I dyed my voidman green and my shield, but the shield is quite low textures. But the void bent, look at that. That's a legit a fucking goblin. <laughs> um, I dyed all 
pretty much all of it. So for those who don't know how to dye your own uh, gear is you equip it pretty much. You click on it and then you click on dye and there you have it. Here you can choose which color you have to click here. Show available only or show all. Right, and then you can choose whichever color you want to put. Prime blue. This is like uh, from the shop that have like a uh, what do you call it? A uh, thingy, sharp silver dye. I don't think there's any white. I don't really know. These you can all you can craft all of these by the way. Lavender make it pink oh my god that will be jesus blood dye that looks spooky as hell and yeah there's like a lot of them this is like a baked red clay dye i went with this color so i went with uh let's see swamp grass uh dye yeah this this is exactly the color um, the reason why I went with this one is during the day, okay, during the day, um, sun reflects on it and it looks gold-ish. You know, a little bit to the, to the green side, but gold enough. And uh, it's quite, a, you know, a funny set to think about it, you know, you're green during the night and gold during the day. It's, uh, it's funny, uh, in my opinion. Um, anyways, let's open the chest. So, uh, well, we did a major breach, and it's probably 250 to 500 gold. And we inserted an invasion today. Let's open the point back. Oh, 250. Um, let's do the fishing ones platinum and gold. Platinum, five platinum. Silver. Platinum again, look at that. Oh my goodness, that's interesting. You can probably farm these to get platinum ingots. Wait, let me see how much are platinum ingots worth. Because the original ingot has a risen in price. So, platinum ingot. Look at that. That's crazy. That's so crazy. This is the equivalent to the star. star metal gut drop. Yeah, it's just so it be, you know, more expensive than star metal one. But that's incredible if you think about it because you can get you can make so much money with fishing now. It's insane. Um let's continue on and let's open the music box. All right, these are just brilliant. Um, let's open the invasion cache. Um, all right, invasion cache is still dog shit. Let's open the music one, the one star one. Uh, hatchet ones. Let's open uh, another one of these hatchet. With how can lumberjack yield? Probably everybody has it by now. Harvesting. This is uh, from uh, collecting all the boats. Actually, no. This is from uh, from the <laughs> from the hyssop. Actually, uh, this is all from the hyssop. That's crazy how much I got. Just from gathering hyssop. Yeah. Star metal. Oh, this is really good. That's nice. Yeah, this, that's that's insane. So on the mining one, star metal. Oh, this is very, very good. This is very, very good. Um, the fishing. I can't believe I got one. Vial of Azot and drop of Azot. What's this? Extract. Oh, that's dog shit. Oyster bait. Yeah, oyster bait, baby. Alright, let's uh, keep on going with the skinning ones. Steel Skinners, oh, that's the experience one. 
great totem. This is a yield one, and the star metal should be Chilled Fang, Jack Claw, or Christine. Stamina recovery. Oh, this is the. <laughs> this is funny. The problem is it uh, happens while you're below 50% against the min. Yeah, but well, whatever. If you're full stamina, you still get the stamina. <laughs> like 99 stamina, you still get the stamina. Oh, this is. Tower metal. Yeah, this is the good one. And your Pokemon and well, full of essence. Yeah, damn it, Beast War, baby. This will probably be worth a lot. Maybe not, but maybe. Botanist, nice, nice. This is uh, also goodie. Nice, another one in or Kalkabin. Look at that. Tanist, skinning, alright, chilled, alright, and now we have only refining chests, start with the lumber one, this is the smelting one, then the weaving, and uh, do we get a pattern? No. I'm um, probably gonna get one from the leatherworking one. I don't want it. Uh, it is what it is, I guess. Just get the, uh, these and then the free start one. Okay. Okay, I didn't get it. Nice. Oh, I get I got it. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I was pretty confident I'm gonna get it because, well, it's been all so depending on how many of these you open, you'll soon realize wait, this does look quite interesting, doesn't it? Um, maybe that's a cool skin. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, I got the pattern again, so. For those wondering, I'm pretty much saving the patterns now. And what I'm doing is... Uh, oh, oh, wait a minute. I can't craft. There's like no way to craft. Uh, not this one. Ah, uh, oh, damn it. <laughs> so I cannot craft this one. Uh, my inventory is loading, by the way. Uh, I opened the storage bin here. I didn't press tab. That is just... There we go. Now it loaded. Um, let's see here. So the tannin. Great. Got my tannin back pretty much. Um, do I know? Oh, I don't have this one. Young King's Tan. There we go, and I also got the precision armoring tools in chest run today. It was a very, very good day, I'm not gonna lie. Got the polished marble on the chest and the precision armoring tools. I still have to do a lot more to get two more of these and one armorer's journal. I also got uh, to say I got last time. Um, yeah. I am getting closer and closer to mixing all of them. I love the trophy materials, and that's really good. <laughs> Another one, I, and as you can see, I farm depths materia, and mm, it's kind of nasty. Um, I'm gonna show it. So, if you wanna craft something, I think it's at the weapon smith, uh, the forge. No, oh, no, actually, it's a bow. So it should be at the engineering table. Yup, there's no chance here. Um, it's some replicas, if I remember it right. 
yeah there we go we have it here and uh so it's this one but the 500 gear score one where is the do i have to be like higher level probably trophies i can have that bit. so i do think it's a bis bow so so let me just take the Theater material, maybe that's how it's gonna show. I don't really know exactly how. Let's just look again. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so you need the mutator. So, as you can see, there's like two variants of these, and uh, the 495 one is dexterity with Kinney Jack and Enchanted. Oh, they, they didn't even bother. Look at that. They didn't even bother to change them. Look at this shit. Alright, so you can get the third perk. Oh, actually, wait, no, never mind. Never fucking mind. Look at that thing. It doesn't, you cannot put a, um, a gem in it, but look at that thing. That's, that's incredible. Corrupted Bane, Kingly Jack, and Enchanted, which is, in my opinion, that probably the best maybe instead of keenly jagged you get uh, the arcane stuff um what's its name um, i don't know its name god damn it <laughs> god damn it <laughs> maybe it shows here in another one plague hunt no Storm, uh, no. No. Oh, chain. Chain. Uh, chain arcane? <laughs> chain arcane damage? That one. That one's really good. Fire chain that bounces between the deals 50% of the weapon damage. That, I, I heard that this chain damage is insane. Okay, I heard that it double dips somehow, so it's affected by the corruption being the enchanted, the but the arcane damage buff. But you cannot have that much. Wait a minute, it doesn't really work because you cannot have on your uh, dream trust and arcane damage right take out of stuff and go to put to sell it <laughs> um and the pile keeps on getting bigger and bigger look at that leather working galore baby um and also my weaving is that bigger and bigger i think this is a very good way to farm materials I'm not gonna lie this is some interesting shit going on here with this. What what am I what do I mean about that? So um look at this. This is going up, right? I'm using 10 every day of each. This is going up. This since I started uh, picking up a uh, wire weave, started uh, uh picking up hyssop, this has gone up significantly but look at this i just generated 30 of each it's crazy and uh wildwood and barvine as well so yeah that's quite insane if you think about it and also i'm almost halfway through this is going to be i'm probably going to have to grind armoring all day and also, I'm still missing the concocters set. Hmm. Gotta find a day to just YOLO the living shit out of it. But I want, I really want that armoring set. The moment I get armoring, the, not the armoring set, the trophy, that's the moment I start swinging and uh, going ape shit on. Uh, I will be this uh, this channel will become rawhide farmville baby rawhide farmville mark my words rawhide farmville i'm gonna destroy 
every creature pretty much until I get <laughs> I get all the materials to craft uh, my bags, all of my bags to tier uh, to 600 years old. Uh, right. <laughs> uh, also, on another note, let's talk to this guy. I managed to get my reputation to 49,000. What's this? Secure enemy movements? And also, if you guys know this, there is a daily available bonus. And... Uh, where is this one? And it rewards you with a lot. So every single day, um, you can do maybe a PvE Heliopolis. As in, if I thunder on Teus, oh, this is the fucking the guy that you have to summon during the night. This is a retardedly hard quest. What the fuck? <laughs> what the actual fuck? That's stupid. That's really stupid. And as you can see right there, and it says right here, first three completed faction missions will receive a daily bonus. And that applies to both tokens, reputation, and the gold that you get. So, as you can see, you also get territory standing if you do the PvE quest. Huh. Which one is the best then? You. That's, that's rewarding us, so for the PvE one, it's 6.3k from what I can see. Let's go, let's go in Morningdale. I know the, the Morningdale quest is probably one of the most annoying ones out there. This is the most retarded one. So, the PvP quest is stupid. <laughs> stupid. You know who I kept uh, when I was on the Spanish server and uh, I I bought with a guy this uh, the morning. Do you know what I did to piss them off? So I went up. I was solo defending morning then, by the way. So they were trying to do. Um, there was a group of five people. So what I did was I pretty much went right up here. There's like some bushes here. And my mouse disappeared. Alright. So there's some bushes right up here. And you have to do the quest by going up here, sitting like a minute or two right here. And uh, then coming back, walking all the way over here. This takes you like 15 minutes, 20. You have to kill some deers over here. And uh, you have to sit here for one and a half minutes. You have to get a... Uh, the chest, I think it's, uh, where is it? Here and here. I don't remember it exactly. So I was sitting in some bushes over here, and they, they were, you know, they were not going in groups back then. They were like, but it was like on their ass, they were waiting for a uh, deer to spawn, and they were going alone sometimes. And I was just ambushing them with a fucking hatchet. <laughs> and I was going full ape shit on one of them. And uh, I was using the Feral Rush, and I don't know if you know, but in the weapon here, when you ambush someone and you go to Feral Rush, a Feral Rush hits a target in the back, it inflicts root for two seconds. And I was using this to catch them, then delete them with Raging Torrent. <laughs> and I would easily get a kill, and then they would chase me, and I would just go around the damn rock right this uh, stupid rock because they will run to them right and i'll just chase them and then run the other way and catch another guy from here the back <laughs> and kill him as well <clears throat> usually the healer <laughs> well, that was that was some good old times um let's see this one. Oh, this is dog shit. what the uh, disgusting disgusting this one yeah, this uh fine. Never mind. This is a really bad morning. Nobody's gonna attack Morning for a long time. 
Um, is there something maybe? Do you have like a. I don't think there is. Yeah, there is some here. This outpost. Maybe in Shattered Mountain? Yeah, I don't really know exactly. It's it's probably the in the highest zones. You get like the most rewards. So that's that's what I'm aiming here for. <laughs> so if we talk to this guy and we open the faction world, yeah, this one is slightly more. And uh, go quickly and collect each alchemy. <laughs> this is stupid. This is I don't know why you can do PvP once here, but it is what it is. Oh wow, this one, Ape, 2k, the fuck? Tempest Heart, oh, that's why. Um, yeah, these are less rewarding than the ones in uh, Brimstone. Hmm, is there anything better than those? Maybe in Requarter, right? Oh, I have, I have the quest for the faction up. Let's go and check it out. Maybe I'll do it in the next one. If it's not uh, if it's not too boring. But I'm pretty sure I remember it. I have to like uh, kill Alchemist Krogus Krogus. Oh yeah, I also wanna do all achievements 100 percent so I'm probably gonna change factions. Well, after I get this quest. I'm pretty sure I have the Alchemist. Uh, hmm. Let me see here. So, can I just jump down? Just. Yep. So, let's check the quest here. So. No, actually, let me see these. 7,000. 9,000. Almost 10k. I'll probably do these. I don't know. I'll probably just do these, and I'll do them for the tokens, so I can buy, uh, if we go to Catalyst, uh, I need, uh, I need 18 in total, and I have 8, there's no higher ones, there's also the gypsum orbs that I can get, every, I think, week, if I remember this right, and yeah, that's pretty good shit. So this is like 9.3k, so again, 7.5k, um, probably big water is the best. Yeah, probably. Let's check out the quest. How did it happen? Uh, a crocus is only... Oh, I have to, yeah, I have to kill the guy, right? I have to like... This is probably a really boring quest. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna show it up. The next one, use spread or uh, absorb an uh, alchemist crocus in. Uh, uh, this is the guy that drops the concoctor's gloves, I think. Uh, it's it's a really easy quest. You just go kill him. It is right here. It's exactly right here underneath. Now mouse is screen again because I cannot. I put lift. No, I can't. Doesn't let me do that. So he's right over here, pretty much underneath everything, right on the road. Yeah, this is like some bullshit quest. That's so easy. <laughs> this it's like actually. How long is this video? Forty-three minutes. Let's just go there and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I don't know, just. Uh, uh, I do the PvP actually no because there are people there with PvP. They're farming the guy. Usual. I don't wanna risk uh Yep, I can just jump into it. Let's go this way. There we go. Just skipped every other stuff. Now let's just get there. This shouldn't take long. So it's like five minutes of running. I'm actually not even that. Like two minutes. I'm gonna use the road soon. 
We're just gonna do the uh, that's the syndicate quest here, and I'm probably going to change factions um, after I'm done with uh, getting 18 or 20 grand rooms of holding. So that will be what two, three days by the looks of it. It only costs like 7,000 uh, reputation. Yeah, that's like. <laughs> it's like three runes every day, four, because it's like 9,000 reputation every time you do it. Is no one chasing me? Nope. This guy is like breathing fire. Use the Psycho Kinetic Absorber. <laughs> Use the fuck, just, just kill that ass. Alright, so it's 112 meters this way. Okay, then I'm gonna get shade. Oh, there's a blight mode. Let me get that. Uh, what the fuck? Stop hitting me. Sound is different here. Why do you all aggro me? The fuck? Yeah, let's blow up. Yeah. Well, this guy doesn't aggro me, but he will go once I get close. So that's the guy over there. Oh, you guys can see that she's fat. That drops a uh, putrefaction. It's a. Uh, uh, rapier, I think. I remember right, and that's him. Oops, pokers. Now we put the uh, absorber. It's a very easy quest, and then we have to defeat his ass. And we're just gonna use the great sword. This little shit of a crocodile has like, you know how the big ones catch you? Yeah, this guy does the same moves, but he's like maybe complicated, like really small. And of course, fifty percent of the time. This fucker doesn't drop anything. It's such a pain in the ass farming the, the engineer. Uh, no, not the engineer, the concoctor. No, it's the engineer gloves. Yeah, he's the certain concoctor's in fishing glory. Oh, right, this one keeps on going. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, I do remember this one. This one was a funny, funny one. This one was a really funny one. Oh, you missed. Oh, you missed. You fucked up, boy. So, uh, when I was... Uh, <laughs> when I was on the Spanish server, right? Me and that guy, we both completed... Stop hitting me, a little shit. Uh, we both completed the quest together. And... We had a lot of issues with this quest, okay? First off, we weren't even level 60. <laughs> we were like level 50. Uh, second off, we didn't even have any war gear about this place. We didn't even know what ward was back then. We were just selling bullets and arrows and iron and everything. And we were just making money. We didn't even know half of the shit that was going on. And do uh, we wanted to do this so we can get uh, you know to be top G? And there's a lot of here. Look at that! Oh my goodness, where is this? Interesting, interesting, interesting. It's a very good spot. Look at that. There's like there's more over there. Oh my god! What the fuck is this place? I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, so here I think we have to go up. If I remember this right, this is a place where I do my route. Um, and there we go, and there is these uh, old shell turtles. And there's also some weird wood. I'm gonna show you guys this right now. About the earth shells, and there's like multiple over there, but. I'm just gonna show you the weird wood. So, usually I go in and see this uh, 
make a small little um, root, go underneath them, and just a free weirwood trees right here. And there is one more uh, right there. I don't think you can really see it because the angle. But I'll show you guys. I'll actually go and take it, and then we continue to do the quest. You can see it now. It's right over there. There's don't act with that guy. There's a patrolling guy. And there's two more. There are actually more of chills over here. This is like a pro this is like an extraordinary zone. Like it's insane how much earth modes and uh uh shell tails you can get. I do this just so I can hack with that guy. And there we go, earth modes. And uh, if you want to get even more earth modes, you can get even more earth modes. There's one here and one a little bit in the front up there. I'll show you guys. It's right here. That wolf will usually walk on you. So you can just run after this. As you can see, he's going to chase my ass. And he's the annoying type that has like a really retarded jump and leap. And uh, he'll bite your ass most of the times. Alright, and here I'm pretty sure I can just Ooga Booga go mid, right? Ooga I go mid. Because I have to go up there. It's not in the middle, right? I can just go. Up here. Oh, actually, I'm going the wrong place. I mean, I'm at the completely wrong place. I have to go... Oh, no, it's down there. I do remember, so... I don't even need to be here. What the fuck? Let me just... Oh, okay. oh what the fuck? Can I just go here? Yeah. There, I'll play it. Get good scrubs. It's actually down there. Let me show you guys. And she can ignore pretty much everything. I suppose. It's right near the A Azot Spring, right there on the other. It's... I, I already forgot this. <laughs> it's been such a long time since I did this. But I still remember what it is. So it's right under here. So you get this and then you have to like... Do something. The problem was the big guy, this guy, was just killing us. Okay, he was just one-shotting our ass. Because we were really bad. Oh, uh, motherfucker that hurt. Anyways, I'm, I'm a lot stronger now. So, you know. Who's hitting me? Why are you hitting me, bro? Stop. And now I have to, yeah, just go and uh, report the quest. And what we did is what, uh, we just died, pretty much. One of us took the aggro, that's where we discovered how to play with aggro. One of us just took the aggro and uh, the other one did the quest, and then we did that again, and you can respawn right here. So we do that in uh, pairs. So we do that once, I do it, then the other does it. And that's how we completed the quest, pretty much. It, it wasn't hard, we just didn't know how to survive. Because we were doing like zero damage to the tentacle, and it's like, there was no great sword back then. Oh, right, wait, I have to like report the quest. <laughs> I have to report the quest. I'm gonna go here because it's closer. I'm really curious if they raised the tokens and the reputation. Hmm. I don't remember. I will see right now, because you couldn't, you, you know, there was an issue where you couldn't buy certain gear, because <laughs> there was not, you couldn't even get that much reputation. So we complete the quest and we're officially a alchemist. I already got this one, so it is what it is. Um, doesn't say anywhere, but yeah, there we go, alchemist.
And you can get your PvP stuff here, Keen and Refreshing Move. This is 500 gear score, but it is what it is, I guess. Oh, there's like a greatsword now. Enchanted. Wow, that's nasty. And there's the gypsum orbs. And you can get this. How much do I have? 18k? Let's buy this. Two hours. Look at that. Oh, every day? There's no way they let you do this every day. They let you? I really believe this was like once per week. But apparently every day, huh? Well, that's good, I guess. Alright, so I'm just gonna do some quests here and then a lot more. Uh... Alright, let's check. Okay, so they raised it to 75,000, right? Yeah, so I'm pretty much gonna do dailies here from now on the reputation quest. Actually, not here. Let's see the brimstone one. How it behaves. Uh, because you also get faction reputation, right? I mean, that's shit, but... <laughs> but if you do the PvE ones, that's better. I mean, I'm after the tokens. You know, I don't fuck it. I don't fuck it. <laughs> Anyways, um, where's my weapon? What the fuck am I holding? Okay, <laughs> well, <laughs> and as you can see, it gets a little bit, you know, uh, close to yellow. Maybe if I go to Brimstone Sands, you can see it better. I don't really know. Um, fast travel. Because Void Band is so reflective, it pretty much copies the color of the sun. So, you know, let's just go here, and as you can see, I'm kind of yellow green, you know, a yellowish green, a gold. So this is a, this is the goblin armor. This is why I painted it. It's it's kind of green, but still kind of yellow so yeah uh it does look like gold the reflection yep it does look like gold only a bit greenish gold but you know goblins baby goblins and uh i think if i turn around yeah, it's completely another color, see? It's like the, you know, the skirt? Uh, yeah, this is exactly the same thing. It's like green here and yellow here. They're like, what? <laughs> uh, anyways, anyways, thank you very much for watching and see you guys in the next one. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.